How's it going guys? My name is Fatal Misfire and welcome back to Layers of Fear. Now if you remember last time we ended up picking up the second piece of the puzzle, um, which I'll just show you was a vial of blood. The first one being a tiny piece of flesh. Um, it was a little bizarre last time and to be honest with you I'm not quite sure what to expect this time around. Um, but yeah, episode 3 is about to get underway and it's getting kind of interesting um, as you can see again this is filling in and we've also got that little piece up there and we've got this as well liquid courage for your grand art opening okie fucking dokie so it's basically a crazy looking hip flask uh, why the hell not? Um, but yeah, you can see that the painting's not really starting to take much of a form. Um, it almost looked like a volcano erupted on a fucking crayon house or some shit. But you know, we don't know what's gonna happen yet. Um, yeah. So there's not really much else to see except there it says form emerges. Now. I don't really know exactly what that means, um, all I know is, well, what I'm guessing is that it's actually related to the painting that's directly behind me at the moment, uh, that one right there, and yeah, I think we're about to uh, start getting really deep in this shit now, so let's carry on. Oh boy, and the music starts straight away, that has never fucking good. Ah, uh, crap. Alright, here we go. And, yeah. So. Holy shit, that one's chained up. That one's open and that one's blocked, so. It's quite obvious where it wants me to go to. So. Okay, that piano's got a chain on it. You see that? The piano's actually chained up. Which is fucking bizarre, but okay. <sighs> fucking hell. Okay. Room's gonna fucking change in a minute. Fucking hell. Okay. That wasn't weird. At all. <laughs> Okie fucking dokie. Ah. Uh, so early with the jump scares, dude. Really? Come on. Jesus. Alright. The fuck? Shit's falling apart. The fucking house is falling apart. Oh. So you want me to go that way, huh? I don't get why it's chained up, though. The graphics in this game are fucking insane. Nothing on the walls or anything. So I guess we're going this way, then. crazy thing that I love about this game is that things can just change in a heartbeat so it doesn't matter whether like you're in an empty room like or just like one filled with basic stuff that it can literally change while you, you can be looking like for example out that window and then you turn around and you're looking at exactly what you were looking at through the window it's crazy as fucking hell um Oh, there's some dodgy lights out there. I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen this time. What the fuck are you? What? What was that? What? Oh my god. Jesus. Fucking bitch down there gave me a heart attack. Oh, Christ. Is that... Oh, it's an empty room. <laughs> oh, this is not going to go well. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take my hand off the mouse. Alright, apparently I can't. And it's locked. I really don't want to turn around. I know I have to, but I really don't want to. Oh, wait. Creator's block. Oh, fuck. Now I have to turn around. And apparently walk this way. And that's locked. 
fucking it loves doing shit like this so that it can change what's behind you and then you turn around and it's going to be something fucking insane um so i'm going to try not to shake the mouse too much even if i jump because i want you guys to see what's going on so and i can't really turn just using uh my keys unfortunately so Oh, there we go. And it changed. Oh, fuck. So, I mean, like, literally all I did was just keep turning around, and all of a sudden now I've got a fucking crazy hallway. And a door. Oh, shit. Fucking what? Yeah, because that's not fucking crazy at all. I might need that. Oh. <laughs> I really have to go down the dark corridor. I like how it like shows you that and you're like, nah, fuck it, I'll take the door. You turn around and that fucking shit sat there. You're like, well, fuck it, really? Come on, dude. The fuck is it even doing that? That's creepy as shit. That door tried to close. Right. <sighs> we better carry on going. I know, I'm not gonna fucking like what happens, but. Oh, yeah. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You see how I'm looking through there? Watch this. Re. <laughs> I love it when it does it because it's so cool. And the way the designers did it is fucking immense. Oh, wait, the room's lighting up. Huh. And the window's gone. Hey. So, I mean, that's how impressive it is. It just happens seamlessly. It really is cool. Oh, Christ. Oh, wait. May 23rd. How can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one failed painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day. That pathetic, hurtful look. A combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. I have come to realize that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still, being the good wife that I am, I decided to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks me a monster, I will sure as hell act the part. Okay. So, I get the feeling this shit's going to get real fucking interesting then. Because if it's his wife that became the monster, oh, psh, yeah, all right. Leave the fucking lights on. Thank you. Um, anything there? Ooh. Don't forget the 9th of June. What's so special about the 9th of June? Okay. So apparently, I'm supposed to uh, definitely remember that bit. Uh, can I turn it now? Okay. There's nothing down here. So, it looks like we are going out the creepy door. I like how there's just like random fucking candles everywhere. Fuck off. <sighs> this game is going to fucking kill me. Uh, this is going to be another one of those changing points. Okay. No. Because that's a balcony. So I can't go that way. So I obviously haven't found what I need to yet. Isn't this the room where the piano was? Oh no, that was through one of the doors, wasn't it? Huh. Interesting piece of artwork. However, there is paint splattered all up there. There's a fucking load of books there. So it looks like we've got that door or that door. Pretty sure that's the one that was chained up last time, so... We'll go that way. 
At least we'll try it this way. Okay, so we're out on the landing. Let's set of stairs there. That's locked. Okay, so it looks like we're going downstairs. I do this dude definitely got a limp. Okay. Anything on here that we need to collect or look at? I don't know. We can turn the lamp on. It's a relatively well lit room anyway. Ooh, there's another lamp. Hehe. <laughs> Let's keep our lights on. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking regret this shit. I'm gonna regret playing this game in general. Okay. The fuck? My phone? Okay, that's not weird. So it's up there. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, apparently I can't pick it up, so... Can't do anything with it. It's just gonna ring and ring and ring, apparently. So this is a loop, obviously. I can't understand what it's actually saying, but, okay, it looks like we're not getting anywhere going this way, so, I will try it one more time. Okay. Yep, so, and, up. Oh, yep, there you go. But we can't do anything with it, so, okay, we'll go back. See if anything changes when we go in the opposite direction. Oh, wait. Okay, so now it's actually going in the correct fucking direction. I could be ringing while it's down there. What the fuck? Okay, well, last time we came round, and we were about actually on the ground floor when we started, so. Oh! Oddly enough. Still can't do shit with it. Oh wait, we can with that. Yes, What? What fire? Oh god. Is she she which hospital? I'm on my way. Jesus fucking Christ. What the hell happened? Okay. So we, we, we got the phone now, at least we heard it, um, we'll carry on going this way because this seemed to be the way it wanted us to go. Okay. Okay, so it looks like the loop's done. So it looks like we're going this way. Oh Christ, restless memories. Should be fun. Uh, really? What the fuck was that? <sighs> fuck you, bitch. What the fuck? Oh shit, the fucking room's upside down. What the? 
What does that say? Something thoughts. Room's feeling a little funky. For a fucking light switch anyway. At least then I might be able to fucking read something, you know. Oh, there we go. So now it's the right way around. Okay. Close that. And there's blood on the back of there. Cool dude. Um, yeah. <laughs> The fuck? Flapping horror. Be quiet. Constant flapping. Eating other rats. What? Flying rats? So wait. This game, it... It seems to, like, progress slowly. But it definitely knows how to fucking build up just the right amount of time to just get the fucking shit out of you. And it does a fucking damn good job as well. Hmm. So, we've collected another piece. Nothing in there but bottles. And... What's in here? Not an awful fucking lot in here. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's the same in that one as it is over there. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, because I like the look of that corridor. Yeah, no problem. Just, uh, off we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Okay, what? What? There's a figure there. Do I even want to know? What the F? Yeah, because like I said, not creepy at all. Ah, <sighs> this is one fucked up house. Why would you even stay here? Get the fuck out of the house. And an elevator. Of course. Okie dokie then. Close that. There we go. And which way goes where? Oh. Apparently that didn't do much. Oh, there we go. So we're going down. Didn't we go up last time? So if we went up last time, then it would make sense that we are actually going down. Abandon hope while you can. Isn't it? Oh, this is the one that we actually went past last time, isn't it? Rather than it actually stopping, we just went past it. Open you bastard. Okay. Um, in any case, as your lawyer advises you to refrain from any imprudent actions, in other words, do not do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Uh, just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. The social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning. A, mo a momentary lapse of reason. An overzealous bureaucrat. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. I don't like those odds. <laughs> it was like 80-20. Yeah, okay. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. <laughs> no more outbursts, no more rambling. Better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your door. I'm assuming that's going to be daughter. So, okie dokie. 
There's a creepy elevator. Okay, I don't like that light just popped up around the edge of it. Abandon hope while you can. Oh joy, another empty room. Oh, I'm actually allowed to go straight through this one apparently. Question is why? Oh, rats. Lovely. Um, what's well, in here? Oh, uh, wait. Not an awful lot, but loads of things. Lovely fountain. Okay. Either that's really dirty water or it's blood. Just saying. Probably gonna over fucking flow in a minute. Okay. I don't like that noise. That does not usually bode well for me. A bathroom. With apparently a lot of blood in the bathtub. Oh, lovely. Silent floaters. They clog the drains, fur in the water. No baths for me. Ugh. Dirty. Nasty. Fucking. And out it goes. It sounds like water's draining out, but it kind of. Whoa. Yeah, it looks like there's actually rats in there now. Intriguing, isn't it? So apparently I still can't see myself properly in the fucking mirror. He's an ugly bastard though. Just saying. Looks like the water's off, apparently. Not sure why you'd want to flush the chain anyway. Okay. Oh, so I can just move that. <clears throat> that works. Door. And another ugly fucking room. Is all this shit like in his head or something? Oh boy. What did that actually do? Apart from maybe, I don't know, fuck all? Why, oh why, didn't I take the blue pill? Oh, okay. Ah. Body borrowers. Huh? Feeding on me, drive me insane, too fast to cut out. Apparently. Okay. That's not at all fucking creepy. Why body borrowers though? I don't get that. Hey dude. Who the fuck are you and what are you doing in my fucking house? Get out of here. Oh boy. I like how you, the way you do it, like you sort of have to gri grip it with the mouse and then move your mouse accordingly. And it's quite funny because if you just sort of flick it, you can sort of flick the door open or slam it shut or whatever. It's quite interesting. Like, look. <laughs> oh crap. Now there's four doors. So which fucking one do I choose? Oh Jesus. Any writing anywhere? No. Awesome. Wall. 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 Corridor. Oh well, looks like we're going back out the way we fucking came in. Oh boy. What's going down? What's this shit? Not fucking. Is it just me or does that look a little twisted to you? Oh. Trippy. 
Almost looks like it's meant to be like um, 3D. You know when you use the brown and green 3D glasses or the grey ones if you go to Odin, which is a cinema here in the UK. If anybody's watching it from I don't know the states or Russia or fucking possibly anywhere. Okay, so the lights are on. What's about to go out by the time I get to the bottom of the stairs? No. Wait, there's a clock on the piano. Whoa. That cover just like sort of melted itself away. What? So is that one. Yeah, this isn't at all serious as the creeper. Game's fucking great though. Really fucking keeps you on the edge of your, um, well, pants. Um, if you've never known what it feels like for your ass to chew cotton, believe me, play this game, you'll soon fucking find out. What's that in the background? I can hear something. Some sort of weird ambient noise. And I'm not entirely sure what's causing it. Look, these just all like melt away. Oh, shit's fucked up. It's like everything becomes like uncovered as you walk through. Which is just crazy as hell. And I don't know how I'm gonna fucking regret this. I'm not looking anywhere other than at that piano. Fuck you, game. a bit cloudy. I'm about 90% sure it wants me to turn around and I'm about 90% sure I'm not fucking gonna. I'm kind of enjoying the song to be fair. <laughs> Back to reality, motherfucker. Whoa. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how. Ah. But then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one. Obviously, this was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. This dude's really starting to fucking creep me out. Like seriously. Flesh, blood, bone. What's he doing? Is he actually painting out of like human fucking remains? It's got really fucking dark. Jesus. Fancy shit. Literally. Okay, just walk towards the light. Can't be so bad, right? I know I'm gonna fucking regret saying that. Oopsie stairs. Mm, it might just be back to the paint room. Is a study, which I'm really fucking hoping it is. Oh yeah, it is. Epic. Oh, cool. Huh. What if you fail? Um, try again. Oh, oh, got something. Uh, looks like an empty photo album. And then this one. Ah, paint and brushes. Use the force. If you look in a mirror, nothing touches it. <laughs> uh, okay. So, those crazy fucking things that we found, like body borrowers, uh, that one and that one, they all came back here um, so ah so let me get this right when I collect one the door opens um, 
after I put it on the paint. Then when I click the next one, the door actually disappears. So they're all actually fully on show. So we've got two out of three so far. Well, actually we've got three out of six, but okay. So that's what we got so far. I hate even now, lost, alone, hopeless. You will all, you always will be a what? Grotesque misunderstanding. Finish it. Okay, so let's see which pieces we get in a moment. Let's change the shape of the creepy painting. Okay. So that's a little different. I did change it slightly. Now it looks like it's something out of a fucking book. And as you can see, that's opened and we've got our bone. Winner. And then if we just check this, nothing. Okay. Which is surprising, because that bit hasn't. I hate even now, lost alone, hope, so grotesque, finish up. So that's actually exactly the same as it was. That hasn't actually changed, which isn't so bad. Um, and then that just says, what if you fail? Uh, as far as I can tell, there's nothing else we need to sort of look at. Um, all the mirrors are not clear enough to see. They're locked. That's about fucking it, dude. Yeah. So that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please hit like. And if you're not already, hit subscribe. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying the season that the series so far. Um, it's really good fun playing it because sometimes it really can terrify the living shit out of you. Um, excuse me. And uh, especially when you least expect it because you, you sort of walk into each room thinking, oh, fuck. And you walk in, it's like, oh, it's okay. And a split second later, you're screwed. So it's pretty good. And like I say, the way the rooms change and stuff like that, it's very, very cleverly done. And kudos to the developers. But yeah. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. If you have, like I say, please remember to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode.